Imana itura mu mashimwe yabana baje reka tuhe amashi The Lord inhabits the praises of his people let us give him a round of applause uh, Worship team Imani bahumudisha kutuyumana Worship team the Lord bless you uh, na Pastor Olivier watuyuneza Imani shimwe kuri byose Pastor Olivier that led us well the Lord bless you And I was uje mwizina ry'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I bless the Lord for this opportunity yet again to stand before you and share his word. And I also thank the Lord for the time that we've been in a time of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And I bless the Lord for the great works that he did in our midst things that he built and those that he broke down. So let us continue to fan into a flame that fire that the Lord has set ablaze in us. Because it happens usually that after such a time of prayer and fasting ugasanga umuntu atuye umutwaro yari ikoreye w'amasengesho You, you find that someone will cast down the burden that they've been bearing of prayer and fasting. But may the Lord keep us away from that in the name of Jesus. Let that altar continue to burn each one of us uh, individually. And I want to comfort those that were had were impacted by the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. Uh, the word of the Lord encourages us that even though a tr that there is hope when a tree is cut down because it can sprout again and its leaves can become green again. Uh, Amen. And the Lord Jesus is able to uh, comfort us because he can identify with our pain. Uh, you know there is a miracle that the Lord did for us. Because the time that the genocide against the truth was taking place, uh, there were two things in one. There was the genocide and then there was also a war that was taking place. So, um, and the RPA soldiers uh, the, the, the time they were battling or fighting against the other soldiers, the army, at that time that was big in number, that had mighty weapons more than the RPA soldiers then had. And there were the interahamwe in every part of the country. Uh, but the fact that they were able to stop the genocide and the war in just three uh, months it was a mighty miracle that Thank the Lord did for us. For us. Let us give him a round of applause. Uh, genocide uh, the genocide against the Tutsi took place while I was here. I was still young. Uh, papa wanje yari umuntu ukunda gusenga yara yarabizi ijya kuba yarabizi kandi yarabizi yuko iyo genocide yari giye gutangira azayigoma uh, my father was a prayerful man and he was also aware that when the genocide uh, kicked off he would also lose his life in the genocide so rero igiye twahungaga ku itariki zirindwi we yasigaye mu rugo so when we flee on the 7th of april for him he stayed at home so hacemo umunsi umwe ku itariki 8 bwo wabanje kuza gusahura ibintu twari dufite Uh, uh, so they came to loot at home on the 8th of April and he was uh, murdered on uh, on the 9th of April. Uh, 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 one thing that we go to learn later is that the time that he was about to die, he forgave them that uh, killed him. Uh, I, uh, I was also to forgive and from my heart I bless the Lord for that uh, because forgiveness and reconciliation is a very crucial thing to Christians 
So rero yari inzira y'umusaraba mujye mwumva namwe ubuhamya bwinshi so it was uh, a way of the cross you've had so many various testimonies ahantu rero twari twarahungiye arije umunsi umwe haje abasirikare n'intera hamwe baje kutwica uh, and so the time uh, the place where we were hiding uh, at some point uh, both the army the soldiers and the entire hamwe came at once to kill us noneho batangira gushyira abantu ku murongo uko baza kugenda babica and so they put people on a cue on how they're going to go killing them they will kill them mama wanjye mu bantu bahagurukisha mbere bashyira kuri uwo murongo w'abantu bagomba kwica my mother was one of the people that was put at the forefront of that queue noneho igiye yarahagurutse agiye kuri uwo murongo ahagurukana bibiliye and so when she stood up going to that to join the queue she um, stood up along with the bible nuko noneho yicara hasi yararambya ayifite noneho arayibombura uh, so she sat down and unfolded the bible nono asoho asoma hano muri zaburi havuga ngo ni muhumure nzabatabara and she read somewhere in the bible she read it out aloud that be at rest i will rescue you somewhere in psalms urumva ayo magambo ni ibintu twa turi mu ntaho byari bihuriye see those words and the time that uh, what was happening at that particular moment were two different things nono mugera amaze gusoma ayo magambo twe ntago twa tuzi ibiri ho biraba twa monye icaye ni ho soma aho hantu uh, for us we did not re recognize what she was talking about but we saw her reading that particular portion of scripture ubwo hagata ho abo bantu bari bavuga ngo se ngo imirambo y'abantu turayitwara gute turayishyirahe babivuga tukumva kandi tukiraho but meanwhile the militia the interahama militia and the soldiers were discussing that after we kill these people where are we going to take their bodies nuko noneho harangije hazamo kutumvikana hagati ya wa wasirikare n'interahamwe baraho ngaho and so um, they continue to discuss about th that and later they got a disagreement between themselves no no hazama kavuyo abantu bari vanga baranije baragenda mu buryo butunguranye so there was commotion there and so there was um, some misunderstanding and eventually uh, they got a, a disagreement and they decided to leave in a mysterious way aho rero nubwo mama nyasha kuduha ubuhamya atubwira ibintu yari amaze gusoma Muri zaburi, muri at that moment that is when my mom later gave us a testimony of what she had just read in the bible in psalms uh, we saw the hand of the lord and that the word of the lord is true and, and dependable so aho nero twa twarahungiye noneho hari umunsi umwe interahamwe zari zatakanje kuza kutwica umunsi ukurikiyeho uh, and so that place where we are hiding um, there is a time another day when the interahamwe militia decided to come and kill us again noneho abasirikare b'inkotanyi former RPA barabimenya baza kuza nijoro and so the former RPA the uh, RPA soldiers got to know about it so they came at night bashara basirikare bake bagera hafi kuri 135 they were few in number about 35 aho hari hegere mu muji ariko baturutse ku gisozi ariko cyo gera batarafata mu muji so it was uh, near town the, uh, the rpa was still at uh, gisozi but they came um, around town noneho baraza rero uko kuntu babigenje bamwe bagendaga basigara mu nzira bateganya ahantu tuza kunyura ku buryo abakiye arimo bageze rero ahantu twari turi kugira ngo bahatuvane so they decided to form a kind of protection where we'll pass while uh, while going and only a few of them are the ones that reached where we were actually hiding noneho kuko yari amasaha twari turyamye byabaye ngombwa yari inzu nanone yahitaje bakajya barasa isasu rigaca mu mwidirisha rikazamuka muri ceiling muri prof kugira ngo abantu bakanguke uh, and so since it was at night and was sleeping and it was um, a flat a storied building they decided to shoot through the roof uh, so they they knocked on the doors and said that this is ingotanyi please open up so people thought that maybe it was the uh, interahamwe militia that are deceiving so that we can open and they kill us ariko abandi baravuga bati nubundi ntacyo dutegereje reka dusohoke and others said that uh, it is all the same after all we shall be killed so let's just open and go out so rero nange ndi mubasohotse mbere ndiruka nka nyine ndasohoka and so as among those that actually ran out i also followed them that had gone out i followed them eh yari nziri toroshi byari nijoro haraho naguye mu muri ruhurura haraho bagiye bankandagira byari ibintu bitoroshi it wasn't easy it was at night first of all and it was dark so at some point i would fall through the ditches it wasn't easy at all 
Nuno hashi zumani ya mutorero butangira gusha rikoko akundi ba butishi ni butara chanes. Uh, so um, it wasn't long and dawn started to come. Nuno ho zanera hamwe na wasirikare ba menyayo uko ingotani zado tukwai. So the uh, entire Hamwe militia and the uh, and the soldiers at that time uh, got to learn that they, the uh, Ingotanya had taken us. No, no, boss, if I fatter in Bundaza, so say Bazeretza, Ahohan, Squad to the Chrome, so you could just so it's going to Tulazamo. So they got their guns and all their weapons and directed it to that very place where we're going. Yara Masasu, Menshi, Menshi, you are a Sarukunu Barasa, a Masasa da Hagarana. Uh, and so they started to send out um, um, a, a lot of bullets towards us. So don't know when I got him here, she did uh, and I would keep seeing sparks coming. It was quite a, a lot of bullets that were being fired at us at once. Ariko abasirikare b'inkotanyi bari bateganije ahantu tugomba kunyura mu miferege kugira ngo ayo masasu ataza kutugeraho ko ibyo byose bari babyiteza ko biza ku. So the RPA soldiers then um, had already prepared for that so they prepared the ditches through which would go because they knew that that was going to happen anyway. No, no, in Zagukora Makosa, Sina Menyaneza, Ahohan Banyushe, Abandi Vasivi, Muri Murio Mio, Genono Murichira was a Karaja Kurwana, Kumusos. So for me, I lost my way. I did not realize that the, the civilians had been taken through the ditches. For me, I decided to follow the soldiers that were going to fight up on the hill. Now, as you can, however, as Koruman and Mutu, Wabakuriti, whoever was Kovandi Vasivi, Harandi Hano, Baba Nushish. And even the RPA soldiers did not recognize that there was a young boy that had followed them from behind because they knew that the civilians had been taken through the trenches. No, no, Nisan Zakurum Sosi, Amasaso, Ariho, Anchaho, Iruhan, the Gosim Bona, Ivishiri Rabin, Iruhan. So I, I would, uh, through that whole journey, I would see uh, uh, bullets passing me by over the shoulders. So I decided that I don't want to see myself dying. After all, I'm going to die. Uh, so I decided that I don't want to see myself dying. Uh, so I, I saw a house just ahead of me. I decided that if I go to the other side of the house, it, uh, the, the walls of the house will shield me against the bullets. So I just closed my eyes and decided to run, but I was already prepared that a bullet will go through me any time. So I ran to that house and I, I was as lucky that I got to that house without any bullet touching me. But now it hadn't ended yet because the soldiers, the RPA soldiers, did not recognize that I was following them from behind. No, no, uh, no, And so after I had gone past that house, I found myself at a cliff. No, 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 uh, and so I saw the soldiers as following. They had already reached the bottom of the hill, and I, I don't know how they got there. Uh, so I did not have the time to go look for the way to the bottom of the, of the hill uh, amidst all those bullets. Uh, so what I did was to just go uh, back, uh, backwards, gain momentum, and just jumped off the cliff. And so because I had jumped off a cliff and I was just suspended in space, I decided to shout. And uh, and that is when the RPA soldiers uh, heard the voice and uh, turned and recognized, realized that there is a child that had jumped off a cliff. No, no, and one came and grabbed me before I, I, I touched the ground, before I reached down. Uh, the Lord bless you. Bless them so much. Uh, the lucky bit is that uh, since time back I have always been slim in stature so it was easy for him to carry me 
nuko rero ubwo bahita banjyana musanga abandi nsanga mu banje yarize ko yaravuga ati abandi barahari uh, so they took me to join others. I found my mom crying because everyone was around except me. So that she mean a little you ko hari someone of muri if you know I blessed the Lord because amid is all that there's a lesson that I learned uh, through what I went through. When you confront a death face to face and you already prepare that you're going to die, it makes you think twice. Uh, because even when we are still uh, in that time of the genocide against the Tutsi, I say, the Lord, if you take me through this, I will have a date towards you. Because after you go through such times, uh, you do not take life as, as usual. Uh, you take life as an additional um, thing that has been added to you. You take the, the rest of your life as a bonus because you know that you have met face, death face to face. And you also recognize that the reason God has permitted you to live is not because you're better than others in any way. Uh, it, but it's because God has a mission and a purpose for your life. There is that something that God wants to do in you and through you. We know that God has created us for a purpose. And there are good works that he has prepared for us. And that is the theme that we have this year. Uh, so when you go through such times, your prayer should be that, Lord, help me so that I continue to align myself with your purposes. We all go through different circumstances. We meet uh, death several times in our lives. Uh, the fact that we are sitting here, there are those that left this life yesterday or even the day before. We are not better than them in any way. Uh, but we are indebted to the Lord for that extra day that he has given to us. Uh, you know, Jesus said that um, each day with its own worries, uh, when you go through such times, you get to realize the significance of one day. Uh, and therefore, the gift, the gift that is very important that you can give to the Lord is offering your whole self unto the Lord. If you remember well the teaching that was given to us last Sunday, the, the theme was that come fully, come holy. Uh, the Lord doesn't want us to leave anything behind. And that is what we all to give to the Lord today, you and I. Uh, but there is one challenge that we usually meet that causes us not to offer ourselves wholly unto the Lord. It is being double-minded. Being double-minded. Who is a double-minded person? Uh, a double-minded person is one that is undecided or wavering in whatever he does. It is a person that, to, uh, that makes contradicting decisions. Uh, 
uh, it also becomes difficult to relate with such a person because you find that the decisions they make today contradict those that they make tomorrow. Umuntu w'imitsi mibiri no umuntu wishushanya ntiyerekane uko ari akirekana neza ariko mu byukuri we mbere mu mutima we afite ibindi bitari byiza. A double minded person is is one that gives an impression of who they are not. They show like they're good a good person but deep in their hearts they're actually bad. Buri yakwishushanya no buryarya nabyo ni imitima ibiri. Ah also hypocrisy and pretense is a double mindedness. Buri ijambo vision cyangwa se icyerekezo uh, you see the word vision uh, it talks it means someone who has one perception one goal that they are moving towards uh, they have one uh, perception they have one um, direction that they are going to ariko noneho ijambo ry'ikinanyo cyaryo ni division but the opposite of it is division being divided Someone that is scattered is going on to different parts. A double-minded person. Someone that is a double-sided has to talks about two different things. That they wear different skins. There are different terms that can be used to describe them. Uh, being double minded is one of the problems that the Lord uh, continued to face in his journey along with his people. Uh, along the way, as the Lord was leading the Israelites out of Egypt, they were wavering day by day. They would see the miracles that the Lord had performed, taking them out of the hand of Pharaoh. And after some time, when Moses would go up to the mountain to pray, he would find that they have done something that is different from what the Lord requires of them. But what pains is that people are not able to learn that lesson because it usually comes back uh, over and again uh, because people continue to, uh, to repeat the same mistake. Even when you read the Bible, you find that this same problem keeps coming again and again. The challenging things that we continue to go through in life day by day is not what makes us double-minded. But what we go through helps us to reveal the condition of our hearts. I'll repeat that. The challenging things that we go through day by day is not what makes us double-minded. But it's what reveals to us the actual condition of our hearts. It is like an amplifier, a mirror. Uh, I'll give you an example. Someone might become ill or has their child that is ill. And then brings that child to the servants of the Lord to pray for him. But because of being double-minded, they might also go to a traditional healer or a witch so that they can help them. Uh, and so you wonder, what is the basis of such a person's faith? Uh, because faith is being certain of the things that you don't see. Uh, so like that particular person, we don't know where they exactly their position is. Uh, maybe you might laugh at such and say, no, I can't do that. 
But being double-minded is revealed in different aspects. Also, when we, uh, we come face to face with things that scare us, that he is also able to reveal if we are double minded or not. Uh, maybe if I refer to the uh, story that I've already told you about of the genocide against the Tutsi, there are people that uh, participated in, in that uh, genocide. They participated because they were afraid of maybe their leaders or people that had given them instructions. There are times when, when we stand before things that scare us or we are afraid of. Uh, and yet we bear the name that we are Christians. Uh, and you find that we, we put off our values as Christians because of those things that scare us. May the Lord help us indeed. Uh, that double-mindedness comes to us in different ways even as we seek a survival means. Uh, the, the word of the Lord tells us that the Lord hates dishonest measures. But there are times when we give ourselves excuses in our daily lives. Uh, if I give an example of the times we are in where prices are rising, uh, and as a Christian, you give yourself the excuse and say that because of the war between Ukraine and Russia, uh, prices have gone up, so I need to find ways of survival. Uh, so there are different ways in which we show the double-mindedness and give ourselves excuses, yet we are Christians. Uh, like that example that I've given you of measuring away uh, skills, there are people that take those ways uh, um, and, and cut them off and, and reduce them so that they weigh less. Or maybe uh, and, or you go and they tell you that this is already a, a kilogram and you take it thinking that it's a full kilogram but the person that is selling them knows a way they reduced it. Uh, do you know the things that I'm talking about? Have you encountered them? I hope you're not visitors to that. Uh, and if you're one of those that do such, may the Holy Spirit visit you so that you correct it. Uh, you know there are also these um, uh, house helps that come to work out in homes, but they are also doing business. The stock that the owners of the house buy, they use that to sell to the people around. So I'm giving examples of the different things in which we show our double-minded nature. Uh, and also at home, where kids grow up, they, they, they analyze, they look at us um, as parents. So kids do not really care about what we tell them, but they, they live up to how we live our lives day by day. So if as parents we live as double-minded, we are also instilling it in our children that they will grow up as double-minded adults. Harry, uh, 
there is a family um, uh, through this time that we've been in of COVID-19. Uh, this particular family uh, was going, and the time, the curfew time, had already reached. No, 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 police never had it. So the police stopped them. No, no, police never was ango move and the police asked them, where are you coming from? Uh, and the police wanted to establish if they had a substantial reason why they were moving past the curfew time. Uh, the parents say that we are coming from the hospital. It's just a story I was told. Uh, and the kids behind in the car said, no, we are not coming from the hospital. We are from visiting our friends. Uh, see, the kids spoke the truth because they knew where they were coming from. Uh, but the parents were saying lies because they wanted to give a reasonable excuse. Why am I giving that example? Uh, even our lives that we show to the children of the double-minded nature, there are seeds that we are sowing into the lives of these children. Uh, so like that child who had the parent uh, lying, don't think that it will just go away like that. Uh, so the kid will say, so even dad and mom also tell lies. So they will think that lying is actually a, a normal thing and you'll have done wrong because you've sowed a wrong seed into their lives as children. Uh, so this thing of being double-minded, it is, it is revealed in different ways. Um, confronting fearful situations or uh, searching for survival means all things we show how double-minded we are. But also uh, trying to look like the world. Uh, for example, the youth uh, it is a challenge that they usually meet wanting to conform to the standards of the world but yet want to remain Christians. Uh, you want to be approved in your group in the society where you belong, but yet you want to remain Christian. So that this other group uh, tells you that if you want us to approve of you, to accept you, you have to do the things that we do, such as drunkenness and smoking. Uh, so you find that that young person is doing that so that he can get the acceptance of his friends and let go shun who they are as a Christian. Uh, and so what happens to the, such a double-minded person is that they close their ears, they don't want to hear what the word of the Lord tells them concerning that thing that they want to do. Uh, they say that let me first go this side and uh, first uh, align things and then I'll go back and uh, work on my relationship with the Lord. Uh, so you see, it is a problem because for such a hypocritical person, uh, they do not show you that they are against you openly. Uh, but then they, you see that they are also not your friends. So there are somewhere in between. You don't know how to classify them. Uh, but let us also for a moment put ourselves in the place of God. Uh, so maybe if I use that example so that we may understand it well. 
If you want to use a person that is like that, uh, someone that is wavering, that does not stick to a particular position, would you entrust them with precious works? If we are truthful, uh, if you're honest, you'll decide that I won't even give him anything because they might destroy what I give them. Uh, or you give them something that is light, but also monitor them closely. Because you don't have trust towards them because they are wavering in whatever they do. Uh, so we should that should show us how being double-minded is a challenge between us and God. Uh, it hinders the so many uh, good works that the Lord would have wanted to do in us and through us because of our wavering nature. Uh, so that person, God is not pleased with them and they draw the wrath of God upon themselves. Let us read. Uh, Revelations chapter 3. Uh, from verse 13 to verse 15. Uh, Revelations chapter 3, verse 15 to 16. Nzimirimo yawe, yuko udakonje kandi nubiri, iyaba warukonje changwa warubizi. Nukorero, kukuri akazuyazi, udakonje nubiri, njiye kukuruka. I know what you have done. I know that you are neither cold nor hot, how I wish you were either one or the other, but because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. Uh, so the word of the Lord here tells us openly on how God treats or looks at the person that is double-minded. Uh, some of the people that Jesus openly condemned were the Pharisees. Because they knew the truth. Uh, but they were hypocritical. They wanted to put up a face, but deep in their hearts, that is not how they were. Uh, and also the word of the Lord tells us that you cannot serve two masters. You'll, you'll please one and annoy the other. Uh, so the word of the Lord is clear. It continues to tell us that the Lord is not pleased with the double-minded. And among the people that are double-minded, there are two different categories. There are those that do it knowingly. And there are also those that we don't know what is happening in us until we go through particular situations and they reveal to us our double-minded nature. I will show you the different facets of this and the Holy Spirit will continue to reveal you and show you where you need to work on. There is a king that was called Uzziah. He was a, a king that did things that were pleasing to the Lord. Also the people of God were pleased with him because of the mighty things that he did. Uh, but uh, as he continued to do mighty things, uh, he, his heart was puffed up. He began to develop pride. 
no no asa naho kugera yafashe umwanzuro wo kujya gutwika cyakosa imibavu ku gicaniro kandi ari ibintu bikorwa nabatambye until he came to a point where he decided to go and burn incense at the altar yet that was something that was left for the priests no no abatambye mwinye ngo waretse gukora ibi bintu ko bikorwa nabatambye and the priest told him why are you doing this this is reserved for the priests ariko we yihagararaho arabikora but for him he decided that he's going to do it ariko kubera ko yirengagije ijwi ry'Imana n'iki tije ko ry'Imana ryasabaga but because he abandoned what the law of the lord required of him ikintu kibabaje nuko yahise arwara ibibembe and so he got leprosy ndetse no mu gupfa kwe yapfuye afite ibyo bibembe until his death he was leprot uh, he had leprosy Erero ingero ni nyinshi muri Bibiliya tugenda tubona z'abantu uko agenda ukabona muri yo hari ibindi bintu bivumbutsemo ndetse n'abakozi b'Imana bakomeye nka ba Daudi so we see it in the Bible that in the different uh, servants of the Lord that as they continue to walk with the Lord a different um, manners keep cropping up eh nkuko urugero nari ntanze rwa Daudi muzi inkuru ze nawe ukuntu yigeze no kugwa mu cyaha cy'ubusambanye Uh, an example another example is the example of king david who fell into the sin of adultery reka tugire uwo mutwe waravuga ngo mana dufashe kugira ngo uturinde imitima ibiri i pray that we get that burden uh, so that we can pray and say the lord keep us from being double minded kugira ngo ahubwo tube umuntu ufite umutima umwe so that we, we shall be steadfast people umuntu ufite umutima umwe cyangwa se bita single minded being a steadfast or single minded ikintu uh, kimuranga one of their char- characteristics nuko abafite intumbero imwe is that they have one particular goal twabonye ko ufite imiti mibiri aba afite intumbero nyinshi zitandukanye icyarimwe Uh, we've seen that the double minded has different directions and different goals at once ariko umuntu w'umutima umwe abafite intumbero imwe gusa but a single minded person has only one uh, goal and only one direction ero nkatwe nk'aba kristo so therefore as christians intumbero yashi gomba kuba ku mana our our goal our, our perception should be towards the lord intumbero yashi gomba kuba gusa na yesu Uh, our perception or um, our goal should be to look like Jesus to honor the lord and uh, glorify him amen amen nibintu bitanga amahoro mu mutima it gives peace in heart yego imana irabizi ko nurugendo ntago bivuga ngo niyo ufite intumbero imwe byose waranije kubitungana ariko nuko uburi kujya mu kerekezo kimwe kandi ukora ibishoboka byose kugira ngo ugere ku ntego wihaye amen amen and and god knows that it's not like everything is already ironed out and it is set out but god knows that you have one direction you have only one goal in your life nkuko twabibonye kimwe mu bintu bya bituma abantu byerekana imiti mibiri ni giye bahuye nibintu bibateye ubwoba like we already saw that one of the reasons that people get double minded is when they confront difficult situations ariko umuntu w'umutima umwe but a single minded person niyo ahuye na byayo nibimuteye ubwoba even when they come to ta- uh, to face with uh, a, a fearful or scary situations iyo ahuye na wa muntu atinya umutegeka gukora ibitandukanye n'ijambo ry'Imana when they meet that person they are afraid of that is instructing them to do contrary to the requirements of the law of the lord yibuka ijambo riri muri matayo ibice 10 umurongo wa 28 Uh, he remembers the word of the lord that is in Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 that says that do not be afraid of them that kill the body uh, but fear him that can kill the body and your spirit and you go to hell as i tell you and tell myself as well nitsa yatugira ha handi bya bindi bidutera ubwoba bidusaba kugira ngo dukore ibitandukanye n'ijambo ry'Imana um when we meet situations that scare us or we are afraid of and requires us to do contrary to the word of the lord umwuka wera ajya twibutsirisha may the holy spirit always remind us of that amen reka duhe imana amashya hand clap to the lord ajya twibutsirisha ijambo tuvuga wibuka ngo uwo ngubona uguteye n'ubwoba ushaka gutuma ukompromise ngacyangwa ukivuguruza 
humu Kristo uh, that, that whenever you meet such a situation you should remember that this person this thing that is causing you uh, to be afraid so that you can compromise uh, your values as a Christian Umenye ko mwembi muzahagara ku munsi w'urubanza na ubwe nawe azaba ari mu bagiye gucirika urubanza ari imbere y'intebe y'Uwiteka That you should be cognizant that both of you some day shall stand before the throne of judgment Ibyo no bituma yubonye icyubahero cy'Imana bituma uvuga ati ndemera ingaruka nahura nazo niyo zaba zikomeye kugeraho na Uh, so then you accept that even if I meet situations that may have impact on my body, my present physical body. Ariko ndemera kuko ndi kureba iherezo kuko iherezo ari ryiza. But I will accept because I can see the end and the end is good. Hari ningero nyinshi muri Bibiliya z'abantu twigiraho uyu munsi nabo bahuye nibyo twe duhura nabyo ndetse bo banahuye nibirenze. Uh, there are so many examples in the Bible that we can take as examples of what we are talking about today and who have met even more difficult situations. Um, and the other thing that I had already talked about of in our quest for daily survival, um, we usually become or show that we are double-minded. Aho ngaho rero nabyo nizo mpu ebyiri tutujya twambara kubera imibereho y'umunsi kuwundi um and so in our quest for daily survival we also put on different skins and become uh, double minded Imani dufashe tujye tumera nka Paulo uvuga ngo ibyari ndamu yanje byambereye igihombo Uh, may the Lord help us that we may speak like Paul spoke that what I considered gain I now consider as loss. Not so that we don't have to do what we ought to do on a daily basis. Ariko gushaka gufata cyane ibyisi ntago ari byo bigomba kutubuza gutuma twivuguruza imbere y'Imana. But laying hold or, or, or holding on to the earthly things should not make us compromise the standards of the Lord. Hari umwami witwa Amasia. there is a king that was called Amazia. Ah hari gihe yari marategura ingabo se. there is a time that he was preparing his army. Yari yari umwami w'abayuda. He was a king of of Judea. No no ho ashaka kwitabaza n'ingabo z'abisiraheli ku kigebere bari ubwami bubiri butandukanye. And so he also wanted to get to get assistance from the uh, the Israelite army because then there were two different kingdoms. But God at that time was not pleased with the Israelite army. No no umuntu Um and so a prophet came to him and told him that you should not join forces with the Israelite army because God is not pleased with them at this time. Ariko igihe yazanaga abo basirikare b'Abisiraheli hari amafaranga hari tarano nyinshi yari yabishuye. Uh, but the time he wanted to bring the Israelite army he had paid a lot of money so, amaze kumva yumva koko ibyo bamubwiye nibyo ariko ababazwa n'amafaranga menshi yararangije gutanga uh, so he accepted what the prophet had told him but he was also concerned with the, uh, the large sum of money he had already paid no no muhano zarangira namubwira ati kandi ni wifatanya nabo nubwo zibwira ngo wabonye ngabo nyinshi ahubwo bizakuviramo gutsindwa And the prophet told him that if you join forces with them know that even if you think that uh, it is a big number of the army but you will lose the battle Kubera ko ntaga imana izabiri ku ruhande rwawe Because God will not be on your side Ariko yageze neza yumvira imana abantu arabasezera nubwo bamurakariye Uh, so he he listened to the lord he obeyed the lord he let go of the israelite army yemera guhomba ya mafaranga yari yatanze he accepted to lose the money that he had already paid ariko imana iramutabara but god helped him. amen hand clap to the lord natwe nibyo tujya duhura nabyo kumva imana ivuga ati de kuri kingi kita ariko mfite impamvu zo gutuma ntakirekura Uh, so we also meet such situations in our lives god tells you to let go of something but then you realize that you have several reasons why you shouldn't let go of it ariko tujye twemerera imana twe kugira imiti mibiri twemerwa ngo ubwo imana ibivuze imana izacinzira kandi bizagenda neza but we should trust the lord and don't be double minded and say if the lord has spoken it then he will take care of it turi kuvuga ku muntu w'umutima umwe We are talking about a single-minded or steadfast person. Utandukanye no muntu ufite imitima ibiri. 
uh, which is different from a double minded person umuntu w'umutima umwe ntago agira amaca kubiri muri we um a single minded person does not have divisions in himself uh, it, is, um, it is painful uh, given the history of our country of divisions. But it revealed how people were young in Christianity. Uh, because a, a single minded person, their goal is just the Lord Jesus. Uh, his perception or his goal is the word of the Lord. Uh, a single-minded person loves scripture and reads scripture. Because first and foremost, the Lord speaks to us through his word. And that is the word that ought to guide us. Uh, there is a way we, uh, we trivialize this thing, but it is actually a very important thing. Uh, but see, with all the divisions and the history that I've already talked about of our country, if people are really taking importantly the word of the Lord, if the word of the Lord really tells us that we are created in the image of the Lord, how is it that people are able to treat other people like just a mere insects? So you see there is a problem. Uh, may the Lord continue to uproot that root of, of divisions that is maybe in us. Even the issue of ethnicities might also be an issue of being double-minded. Uh, because if you view people uh, first and foremost uh, depending on their ethnicity instead of looking at them as children of God we have a problem um, there is something that I love that our government did of I'm Rwandan uh, because one of the things that characterizes ethnicity uh, 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 because an ethnic group has a particular um, culture they have their particular language and they have a particular geographical location. But let us look at our country. Don't we have the same culture? Don't we have the same language? Don't we stay in the same geographical location? May the Lord help us indeed. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'll continue to uh, dwell on our history as Rwandans, but so that we can draw lessons out of it. Uh, when the genocide against the Tutsi was taking place in 1994, uh, Rwanda at the time was considered as one of the countries in the world that has the highest number of Christians. So-called so -called Christians. Uh, I will say so-called Christians because it is different being a Christian and being called a Christian. Um, over 90% of Rwandans were called Christians. People, the perpetrators, or, uh, most of them were called Christians. Uh, but what happened indeed revealed that these were not Christians. Because there is something that we usually uh, take wrongly. Being born into a Christian family does not make you a Christian. Please understand this well. 
kuba warakoreweho imihango abantu bakavivura ngo ubaye mu Kristo ntago bivuze ko ubaye mu Kristo performing some rituals and people tick it off that you are a Christian doesn't make you a Christian none se iri chupa ni mwana ko ri mamaze so can you see that this bottle has water nyakuyemo ngashyiramo fanta cyangwa shi muri iri chupa if i pour out the water and put in soda or put in um, some juice ariko rigifite nyine i label cyangwa etiquette yerekana ko aramas but when it still bears this uh, uh, logo and everything that shows that uh, this package that shows that it's water kuba hano hanitse hamazi bivuze ko biri imbere aramazi having a label that it's water does that mean that inside there is water icyo kiri mu bibazo bikomeye tugomba gukoraho Uh, that is one of the major problems that we need to address kuba kristu bwacu as christians ukeneye guhura na yesu wowe ku giti cyawe agahindura ubuzima amen you need to encounter jesus and he changes you personally ukihana kugwa ibya hawakoze and you repent of the sins that you've committed ukamenya ko yapfuye ku musaraba kugwa ibya habyawe and you know and recognize that he died on the cross because of your sins ukamwegurira ubuzima kugira ngo ari we ukuyobora and you sub, you give your whole life to him so that he will guide you nkumuntu w'umutima umwe intumbere yawe ikaba kuri Kristo and as a single minded person your your goal should be Jesus Christ murabizi bundi nubwo ndivuga ku muntu w'umutima umwe hari umuntu w'umutima umwe kuri satani Uh, and even though i'm talking about a single minded person a person might be single minded towards the devil akaba yari gure satani bizwi nibyo akora and they have given themselves fully to the devil and everyone knows that tuvuga ko ari ari muri iki cyerekezo and they are looking probably in that direction ariko ikintu imana ikora muri twebwe but what the lord does in our lives yo tuyemereye when we allow him to iraza igadukuramo igasenyamo uwo mutima he takes he uh, breaks down that kind of heart No no ikagenda ihindura muri twebwe ko buryo uburyo imana igenda iduhindura no rugendo uko tugenda tuyemerera And he continues uh, gradually to change us because God works in us gradually Tubigeranye namazi yarakonje Let us co- um, take an example or compare it to water that is cold Ukemerera umuriro w'Imana kwinjira muri wowe ugenda uzanamo ubushuhe And you permit the fire of the Lord to come into you and causes it to warm up bigakomeza bigakomeza ugenda noneho wakira ubwo bushyuhe bw'Imana muri wowe amen you continue to to accept and to receive that warmth of the lord in you ugahindura icyerekezo and you change direction ukurikira Yesu and you follow Jesus Christ amen amen nakunze umugani w'umubibyi dusanga muri Bibiliya i love the parable of the sower in the bible utangira utwereka wa muntu ufite umutima we umeze nk'inzira Uh, uh, it shows us um, it it begins by showing us a person that has a heart that is like a highway where you uh, sow the seeds and birds take it away ugakomeza twereka none ho wawundi umeze nk'ubutaka bwo rushya kuburimo amabuye imbuti zari ko ntibashe gushora imizi neza Uh, and then it shows us the, the the kind of heart which is compared to the kind of soil that has stones where a seed is sown but it does not take root. No no ugakomeza twereka no ha handi ubutaka bumeze neza ku bufitemo amahwa muri yo. And then it also shows, shows us the kind of soil that is like um, fertile a bit fertile but has thorns in it. Ndetse no mu busobanuro rwo mugani butwereka ko ibyo ngibyo ngo niba abantu kubera imihanga iko yisi kubera ubwoba bw'ibyisi busanga bibiza bigapfukirana ibyimana ishaka gukora muri bo and that in the explanation of the parable shows that this is a representation of people that um, receive the word of god but because of um, the fears of this life and the cares it chokes the word of the lord that is in them no no bigakomeza kazana bwa butaka no bwavanye mu bya bintu bitandukanye bwa kuyemo ya mahwa bwa kuyemo ya mabuye bwa butaka bwitegwe kwakira neza imbuto imbuto ikura ikabyara izindi nyesha and then the the parable continues to show us the kind of soul that where the thorns and the and the stones have been removed and it is fertile that receives the seed and the seed continues to grow and multiplies rero umvuga kuba umuntu w'umutima umwe ushobora kwa hari ibyo ukibona ngo koko bidatunganye so being single minded you probably you see things in you that are not right 
ariko ugomba kumenya ngo icyerekezo cyanjye no gusa na Kristo ndaharanira gusa na Kristo Amen but you should recognize and know and be aware that my goal is to look like Jesus Bero twibuka twiyubaka So as we remember and as we build ourselves Iti mane shaka no kugira ngo twikomeze kuri yo Uh, what the Lord requires of us is that we be established upon Him. You see, in life there are things that we go through that we don't like. And we even pray for them and say, Lord, take away this. Uh, and indeed, it is good for us to pray and ask the Lord to take our such things out of our lives. But that is one side of it. There is another side that we shouldn't uh, overlook. Uh, as time goes by, we draw closer to the, to the end time. And the Bible tells us that as the end time draws nigh, the times will become even more difficult. Uh, so as we pray that the Lord will keep us away from those bad things that happen to us. But we should also ask the Lord to strengthen us so that the things that the Lord has permitted to happen, we may be able to go through them as Christians. Uh, because God told us both things. He's the Lord that protects us. Ariko ni imana idushoboza guca mu muriro no mu mas. But he's also a, a lord that enables us to go through the waters and the fires. Nero ni hongana kumusozo ikintu imana itwifuzaho no kugira ngo tuyikomezeho. And so what the lord requires of us is that we may be established in him. No necessary ka turebe iyo umuntu yubaka inzu. So let us uh, look at it like this. If uh, when someone is constructing such a house Uh, they put a strong foundation stones and even strong walls and they put metallic doors and windows uh, and they put their strong building materials but what is the reason it's so that along the different seasons that this house will go through whether it is a rainy season or a strong sunshine a strong wind uh, when a burglar comes in that them that are living in that house will not be affected by all those things. So let us ask the Lord that we may also be established in him so that we may be firm like that house. I want to wind up like this. We have seen that we have to shift from that person that is double-minded to a single-minded kind of person. Uh, when you and I become that single-minded person that with um, a goal of being like Jesus Christ, if I do it and you do it as well, Uh, there is a big promise that the Lord has given to us. That if you uh, agree upon a thing, uh, whatever you shall uh, ask for, I will grant to you. Uh, that if your single mind uh, sing doesn't just end with you, that if you align yourself and I align myself and we meet together and pray together, the Lord will do mighty things in our midst. Amen. May the Lord help us to be mindful of that. Amen. And let us pray. Uh, I, I've talked about being double-minded in a, a, a wide, in a detailed manner. 
birashoboka wenda ko hari ninguni imwe ntavuze uh, it's possible that probably there are some categories that I've not even mentioned ariko byaro kugira ngo bigufashe kureba nawe mu buryo bwagutse kugira ngo wemerere imana ikomeze ikosore aho warufite imitima ibiri uh, but it was so that you also permit the lord to search you and correct where you've been double minded reka mbabwira nange nibwira as i tell you and tell myself to kwemerere umwuka wera kugira ngo asenye iyo mitima ibiri ikorera muri twebwe and let us permit the holy spirit to break down that kind of a double mindedness that was in us nami ushimwe kugwijambo ryawe uvuganye natwe kuri uyu munsi wanone lord we thank you for this word that you have spoken to us today tubanje kugushima kugurugendo twanyuzemo Uh, Lord first of all we thank you for the journey that we've gone through. Turagushima yuko ibyo uvuga nubwo igiti cyatemwa kirongera kigashibuka. Ah Lord we thank you because your word says that uh, even when a tree is cut down there is hope that it will sprout again. Twarabibonye. We've seen it Lord. Kandi dukomeje kubibona utuvana mu bwiza tujyana mu. And we've continued to see you take us from glory to glory. Kuba uyu munsi duhumeka umwuka wabazima The fact that we are alive today Nuko hari umurimo ushaka gukomeza gukorera muri twebwe It's because there is a work that you want to do in us Ngami tugufunguriye imitima yacu Lord we open up our hearts to you Deka umwuka wawe wera akomeza agende aduhishurire ahantu tugifite imitima ibiri May the Holy Spirit continue to search us and reveal to us where we are double minded Kugira ngo dukomeze kwiringaniza dusa na Kristo tugira umutima umwe So that we continue to conform to the likeness of Jesus as we become single minded Kugira ngo twese tuzishime ubwo tuzahurira mu ijuru So that we may all rejoice together when we meet in heaven Twararangije urugendo neza Uh, while having completed our journey here on earth well kandi ya mirimo myiza yabacunguwe idukurikiye and the good works of the redeemed following us sense twizeye mwizina z'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo i would pray believing in the name of Jesus Christ amen amen